All right, here we go. Looks like I'm doing a little bit of single commentary here. You mean league battles? Oh, that's right. That's a thing. I forgot about that. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, so CJ is starting with the wolf here. Okay. Got a little bit of a small shield there. Oh, just running up and grabbing before that boomerang. Okay. All right, got a bomb on the platform. Love having bombs sit on the platform because they cover beneath the platform as well, which is nice. Yeah, okay, yeah, not gonna get him there. Okay, presents are nearly even. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna. Oh no! Oh no, he's fine. Oh man, you gotta be careful with that down air hitbox. Ooh, nice! Nice catch. Man, I would have liked to see Salty's reaction. That would have been good. Probably loud, too. Okay, Dash Tech's gonna take it. Only 9% on Wolf. So, even game. And yeah, both of these players are fighting to stay in the bracket. So loser will be knocked out of bracket here. Okay, nice snare catching him. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful with that boomerang. It's just a little damage. It's not gonna knock you very far, but it could either lead into a follow-up, and it's still just a little bit of damage you might not want to take. So we gotta be careful with that as well. For me, I know what I'm playing. Like, like I, I just, I don't even take... Ugh, I, I can't, can't talk. talk. I don't even like taking minuscule damage. Just... Uh, no, commentators aren't gone. It's just me right now. Salty had to go do something, and Johnny's currently playing a match. But yeah, when it comes to me playing, I don't even like getting hit by like 3%, just because damage builds up over time. Joker's neutral B is a perfect example of that. Throughout a match, I mean, you could do a collective amount of like 35% just with different gunshots from Joker's neutral B. Just little hits every now and then can be very vital, actually, to the outcome of a match. It matters how you use them, where you space them, you know, all that good stuff. Johnny is at 171. CJ's struggling to get this kill. However, he's only... Okay, now he's at 52. Ooh! He was totally trying to charge up that uppy. Nah, that's okay. Salty's gonna be back in a minute. He just had to go do something really quick. Wow, just standing there. Letting that boomerang go over his head. Nice bomb. Okay, right, punish. What are we going to see? So there you go. Yo, you missed a really nice bomb follow-up. Yeah, sorry. I had to take care of my dog. No, no, no. You're fine, dude. But I think he, he either hit him with boomerang or arrow. Um, and then, as he was falling, he also got hit by bomb. He missed the tech on the floor. And he got hit by the second hit box of Lynx forward air and died. Jeez, he's pulling out all the techs. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. Well, okay. Back to an even game, though. Looks like CJ's brought the I... percentages back. Oh, and commentators. And Yo, DI! Uh-oh. <laughs> Resetting the situation. 
Oh, I don't know if you meant to do that okay. get-up attack there. Ooh, I was actually wondering if he was going to try to back air there. That may have actually worked. He's not wow. dead. He's not Great dead. Great use of the distance, though. Yo, he just almost got sniped, though. Nice Dude, avoiding the bomb. My man's parrying the bomb in. Oh, man. maybe that was a shield poke. Forcing that campy situation with the higher percents is the probably best way to go about it. Don't want to do anything too aggressive here. Yeah. Because, I mean, both characters are pretty much, excuse me, one hit away from just dying. Right. <gasps> and again, <laughs> this is a very vital match for these two. <gasps> nice! Z Drop Nair! All right! Dude, Z Drop Nair is fun. For the, the Link player. Dang, was this only game one? Yeah, this was game one. Dang. Link and Air took the kids. Good showing from the both of them, for sure. Definitely. We may not have that many players here for our first tourney, but dude, I mean, we've got some good sets. Right. Oh, for sure. And I'm, I'm also, I mean, I'm really, I'm really liking Johnny's Link this tournament. Although CJ's Wolf seemed like it was doing a, a pretty decent job. Yeah, of... he was actually like it. Uh, behind by like 90% and he brought it back so right 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 yeah yeah, yeah. like he, he doesn't seem to want to be doing s stuff that's too risky or something that's going to result in him just immediately you know outing a stock yeah but jeez that that Z drop in there I wonder I, I do wonder how safe that is like I don't, I don't know true if something about the, the hit of it you know seems like we're going to be getting a character switch from CJ here um who mm. else does he use besides Wolf and Palu. He might be going Palu. Who knows? Right, 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 right. I mean, I would honestly... I mean... I don't know. I, I think Wolf could probably... Like, I, I don't think he loses to Link, necessarily, anyway. Like, I mean, well-timed reflectors still do a pretty good job of handling projectile spam. Um, yeah. And, I mean, there's something to be said about laser being transcendent. So, like, going through projectiles is nothing to scoff at. But I could probably understand it, understand a power switch if he felt the need to, you know, go through with that. At least for the sake of Link is more than gonna give. Yo, Christian, man, GG, power. you did really well. Looking forward to seeing you participate in future tourneys. Although I do wonder what what is the stage pick here? Like let let's say let's say CJ wants to go ahead and do the wolf pick, you know? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, clearly, clearly something that's gonna give Link a lot of room probably isn't the the best thing to do. Like town and city's probably just off the table. You know, when I think of weird picks with Wolf, I think of something Zero said. Um, he mentioned when he's playing Wolf, sometimes he likes to go Lilat just to mess with his opponents, and mm -hmm. Lilat's not, you know. Wolf recovering Lilat, like, eh. But, I mean, right, sure. Zero's like, you know, my opponent has to deal with it, too. So, I'm like, that's a good point. That's a fair point. Well, and especially because in this case, like, let's say Johnny wants to just stay as the Link. You know, that is not the best stage to recover on, no. anyway. Especially you're too low on a bomb recovery and that little... Exactly. I was just imagining right, that. Right, that curve, right. I don't know, though. I feel like with... Well, Lilat is a little bit smaller. I I could understand that. I, I I'd just be careful of like if one once Wolf loses stage control or is off stage at all, he's gonna have the hardest time getting back yeah. at all. Especially with so, a so character that like, has bomb. Right. Exactly. Well, that's that's a whole like risk versus reward kind of deal. Yeah. Like. I mean, other than that, I, I'm, I'm sure probably Smashville might be something to consider. Like, again, smaller stage, yeah. and you have a little bit of room to Smashville. combo sensing on it. Right, 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 right. We haven't, no one's been taken to Yoshi's yet, either. That is a good point. Yeah, there's been a surprising lack of Yoshi's story. Well, especially with lower ceilings, too. Like, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's not really Battlefield, but, you know, with the yeah. platform layout, it's the same. But, you know, something like a Wolf Up Smash kills just a tad bit earlier. Side hitboxes aren't that much bigger, so... Um, CJ, Johnny in the Discord is saying he's been waiting for the stage pick.
All right, looks like PS2. Oh, okay, he's going right, Palu. So have Palu. Yeah. All right, so in this case, yeah, Palu is going to have a whole lot more room to work with, um, just because, like, she has options to deal with people who want to be zoning her out, and she really just doesn't like preferring rushdown kind of playstyles, so... This We're going to find out easy. who really wins the battle. The anime right. trailer never showed us. <laughs> Yo, that Dude, was that such a cool for, trailer, though. That was such a cool. That that was one of the coolest things I've I've ever seen. Or even yeah. even just the novelty of the idea of it, you know. Straight up anime, dude. It was great. It was so right. cool. Right. Was that Still, back in Smash Four? That was yeah, that was Smash Four. That, that, that was Palutena's reveal. Man, I feel old. <laughs> I know. I remember. I remember E3. I, I um even well okay. I knew a little bit about Kid Icarus because I watched Chucky Conroy's uh, Uprising. Let's play. Um, by the way, fantastic. Loved it. That game's amazing. Um, right. And then I, I was... Whenever there were Palutena rumors, I was really hoping Palutena would get in. Um, mm. And I remember that E3. Oh, who, who got announced first? I think it was the Miis that got announced first. Yeah, I believe it was Miis and then right into uh, Palutena. Palu. Yeah, and then I was, was so awesome. hyped. And then just out of nowhere, they're like, oh yeah, Pac-Man. <laughs> Yup, it's like, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I was, uh, I was watching Nairo's reveal trailer tier list, like, yesterday or the day before, and, um, yeah, he just mentioned how, like, they randomly just said, oh, by the way, Pac-Man's in the game, and then an hour later, they released his trailer. Nice catch on mm -hmm. that, uh, down air. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, back to this, like, it, it, or back to the game, you know, it, it does look like, while... Yeah, Donnie has a little bit of a good time with the stage control. Like, he does seem to be pushing forward just a little bit more. Like, having a little bit of trouble with, like, closing out that last little hit. Yeah. And plus, I mean, Palu's nice. Palu. Like, she racks up damage like crazy, too. This is a prime oh, opportunity, for sure. though, right. for CJ to get some good extra credit. I mean, he got 30%. Right. Oh, for sure. What I was going to say, like, especially with, uh... uh what was I going to say? Like... Uh, there was a situation a little bit earlier where, like, if Johnny does get into Ooh. the air at all, like, for a juggling situation, he's going to have a very hard time getting out of that. Oh, yeah. Like, dude. he's got to be able to stay grounded in this situation. You know, let's just give Palutena, like, a nod, though. I'm so happy she's good in this game. <laughs> no, no joke. She was one of my most, like, I was so excited for Palutena in Smash 4. And then, you mm. know, outside of custom moves, she was not very good. So, even though, right. like, her nair exists, her up air kills insanely early, I'm so glad she's good. Well, she's definitely she's definitely a far cry from what she was in Smash 4. Same with um, Shulk, by the way. Same with mm -hmm. Shulk. It is Sam, yo. Is Sam secondary know, Shulk? I... <laughs> that makes me happy. I'm so glad to see right. the Shulk rep. <laughs> I remember back in the Defense Smash 4 days, Zero made a... Uh, April Fool's joke, and he was like, "Yep, I'm 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 maining Shulk now." I was so excited, I did not realize it was April first. The depression <laughs> I felt hurt so bad. Cause Shulk was um my main in four when the game originally came out, and then eventually he just became a pocket, and then I didn't really use him towards the end. I just stuck with Link. Link was my best in Smash Four. Um, right. Corrin was my secondary, mm. and then Robin was my pocket. So right. Yeah, I, and it, it is something to say, like, e even across the whole of the cast, like, there's so much more, I mean, I will say, like, this this is a whole lot more balanced across the board. Like, oh, even big with time, and it's really things, nice like, to see. You're still going to see representation to the slightest bit of a lot of the cast. Pretty much, oh, you know, and oh they've been gosh, a pretty, got that that nice, nice up, uh, up there there. Right, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it's really nice to just see so many diverse matchups. That's something Ultimate really has going for it. Um, mm. And they've, been, they've done a pretty decent job of assigning buffs and nerfs. Um, oh, right. But there are some characters, man, I would just love to see some buffs for. I just, like, for example, I really enjoy watching Bowser Jr. Oh. Mm. I would love to uh, see some more love for that character. Really unique character, fun to watch, in my opinion. Um, Wii Fit, I love Wii Fit to death. Like... Um, but, I mean, I'm fine with Wii Fit staying the way she is. One character I really want buffs for, and it's only one buff, is Robin. I just... I have a problem with Robin's grab range. I always have <laughs> since Smash 4. I really want Robin to have a better uh, grab range. 
but what I do, I do feel like that's a syndrome of a lot of characters across the board, where like overall grab ranges do seem like barring certain exceptions, like it does. Go dash your right, buddy. I feel the same. Right. Yeah, go on. Sorry, I was just agreeing with Dash in the chat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but what I was saying was like across the board, like a lot of like regular standing grabs, uh, even like some like turnaround grabs are just overall a whole lot shorter. Like yeah. Uh, you know, I, I I know like you know shield pu uh, shield punishing with grabbing uh, is has been a big thing for a while, but like in this game, like it seems like you have like strictly better options just because certain grab ranges are overall shorter. Mitch, like, you don't. Are like, you gonna say Isabel? Out. I know. <laughs> he is. He's gonna say Isabel. Sorry, I just I saw that. I'm like, Wait, oh, I know. Wait, is Peach pulling out the Isabel? <laughs> no, no, no. He uh he said in the chat, you know who I think needs buffs, and I'm like, he's gonna say Isabel. <laughs> All right, hey, I don't know. Like, CJ can bring this back. Is... Mm, I don't think Link... Oh, yo. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's it, though. Yeah, I don't want to punish that shield. Or, or, you know, with a dash attack quite like that. I called it. I called it. Isabel. I mean, honestly, I agree. But, like, I don't want Isabel to get buffs. Dash, yes, let's buff Pit. Let's buff my boy. Pit was my main in Brawl. Um, I also used him a little bit in four. Mm -hmm. I do. I do honestly think of any character that probably needs a buff. Like I, well, okay. I'd like to see Pit and Dark Pit buffs. That's yeah. a personal thing. I love. I, think, I love Pit. I would probably use like, them a little bit more so, if they were buffed. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, like Meech is probably definitely not wrong about Isabel needing buffs. Like, oh, thank you, Flash. Corin, cast, dude, like, give me Corin buffs. <laughs> Yeah, I miss Corrin. playing Corrin. I miss playing Corrin so much. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, ever since they nerfed Pin, I just completely dropped the character. But I miss playing Corrin so much. I, I, I guess probably. I, I guess initially, I didn't think that the uh, the nerfs, the overall nerfs to Corrin were as bad. Like right at the beginning of Ultimate, but the yeah. more that I noticed that people like weren't actually playing Corrin, and then like actually being shown certain aspects of Corrin's kit that just got completely. You know, wiped. Well, like she, she definitely is hurting more so than a lot yeah, no, of the Yeah, no, uh, Pin doesn't need a buff. That's just like since it got nerfed. That's one reason why I dropped Corin. Um, I'm not saying Pin needs a buff. I honestly don't think it does. I think it's fine. Um, but yeah, I just oh, Corin buffs would be so great. Kirby needs a redesign. Right. I can see that. Yo, something I've been asking for since. Kind of pits into after Brawl, but before Smash Four. Game and Watch. What? Oh boy. Oh, I forgot he does use Game and Watch a little bit. All right, now this I gotta see. <laughs> but what I was gonna say is, I want them to change Mario's neutral air animation to the star spin from Galaxy. Yes. Hmm. I, like, I can see that. Well, I'm just really biased because Galaxy is one of my favorite games of all time. Um. And I mean, yeah, we have Galaxy representation with Rosa. Yo, by the way. Listen, I like Rosa. Just give her a little bit of buffs, please. You don't <laughs> yeah, have to, perhaps. like, don't go wild. But, like... Mm -hmm. Well, I think, like, at, at this point, really, like, overall, I think a lot of buffs should just be centered around, like... Well, probably should be, but, like, I'd like to see, like, buffs that kind of pad up... Uh, yeah, so, Flash, like, that's more true. More representation for other characters. Yeah. By the way, since you're a Game & Watch player, how do you feel about this matchup? Uh, I've I've talked about this quite a bit, and especially with Johnny too. I I earnestly say that this is a 50-50 matchup, just from okay. it's really volatile. Like there are a lot of situations where if uh, Link can maintain a lot of stage control, um, you can die really early at, at like really early percents. Ooh. And I mean, even when you do have reflection bucket, that helps a lot in dealing with projectile walls. Um, it really just depends on, is the Link going to be really aggressive, or are they going to be focusing on stage control? And how well do, can the Game & Watch time buckets to be able to handle certain projectiles? Yeah. Uh, but I, I've definitely heard arguments where, uh, you know, like, Game & Watch has the advantage, because, you know, there's, there's something about Game & Watch's advantage state where uh, Link has a really hard time getting out of jungle situations, which is entirely true. But, uh... You know, I, it, it's it's really it's it's either really one sided or it's really really back and forth. 
But so far, it does seem like... Uh, Byron, I appreciate that, my friend, but don't use up your Twitch Prime. I'm not really trying to make money with this at all. <laughs> oh, yo, I thought I that was about right to there, kill. Right there, like a little bit higher a percent, and Game & Watch is just Dead. gone at that yeah. percent. Um, I remember when I first started fighting against you, Link was actually my counterpick against your Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. That was still whenever Inkling was, like, my secondary... Inkling's more of a pocket now, honestly. I haven't even pulled out the Inkling, and I don't know how long. Um, even though I did promise Stoles that ditto one day. One well, see right now, like, there is oh. a- OH MY GOSH! Oh, oh he's dead. Oh, see, he I have really a problem with Link down there. I don't like using the move just because of the repercussions of missing. Mm. Um, you know, I mean, that all comes down to confidence and positioning and all that fun stuff, but I just prefer not to mm. use it. Right. Um, of offstage, at least. Mm -hmm. Alright, I want to say something, but... <gasps> Yo! Oh, Johnny! Okay, that is a 3-0, correct? Uh, I believe so at this point, yeah. yeah. I was making sure it wasn't a 3-1. Alright, well, GG mm. to both players. Very good stuff. CJ, you have really, say... really improved since the last time we've fought so good stuff i really hope to see you back here in the future i was gonna say yeah like particularly with that and that's why i was going on and saying like uh you know i need that, dash that and meech really, in uh, the arena